Hey you guys and welcome back to the Ashley Louis Show. The biggest problem with the Affordable Health Care Act is the fact that students don't know exactly what it is or how it affects them. I asked students if they knew the purpose of Obamacare. So I'm not exactly sure what Obamacare is, but I think it's, if I'm not mistaken, its, it's goal is so that it makes more, it makes health care more available to people who can't really I don't know everything that goes into Obamacare. According to the Kaiser Family Foundation Health Tracking Poll, 51% of Americans didn't know exactly what Obamacare was, and 62% of those were students. On March 23, 2010, President Barack Obama signed the Affordable Care Act into law in order to improve access to affordable health coverage for everyone and protect consumers from abusive insurance company practices. I think the Affordable Health Care Act is a, it's a useful, useful thing for, for people because it's going to give us access to insurance for those who want to take care of sick. To be honest, I'm not really sure how Obamacare affects me. And here are the five ways that Obamacare affects students. Number one, you can stay on your parents' insurance longer. According to the United States Department of Health and Human Services, by allowing students to stay on their parents' plan until they turn 26, it makes it easier and more affordable for students to get health insurance coverage. Number two, free health insurance on your college campus. There are universities where students must have their own health insurance. Then there are colleges that already have a health coverage fee included in the education cost. This fee gives every student free access to the health clinic for labs, x-rays, pharmacy, and similar services. Number three, loss of coverage. The Centers for Medicare and Medical Services website states, over a million students are covered through student health plans offered by colleges, universities, or institutions of higher education. However, not all student health plans are the same. Some plans are comprehensive but offer limited benefits, which can put students and their families at risk for catastrophic medical bills. Number four, creating more jobs. According to the White House website, when you finally do get out of college, you might find it easier to get a job. The new health law puts construction workers back on the job to rebuild our infrastructures. Also, it will strengthen job training at community colleges and raise the minimum wage pay rate. Number five, higher college costs. In the Health Care and Education Reconciliation Act, the Affordable Health Care Law places the federal government solely in charge of issuing and servicing loans. Since anyone can get these loans, colleges are raising costs. This creates a dangerous cycle that could add more debt to college graduates. What makes the affordable health care law so controversial is the fact that Americans still don't know exactly how it affects them. If you want to know more, visit the federal website, whitehouse.gov. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Ashley Lewis.